stuff that I just I wanted to be able to help you guys out, so I do it. <laughs> Honestly, that's, that's pretty much as far as my thought process went. <laughs> okay, single line trace by channel. And then we need to come up. Okay, so to explain. First person camera, world location, world rotation. Let me, uh, let's not use the ricochet. The ricochet is a bad example. Let's use this one. A bad example for this specifically. It's actually a really cool example. But um, So what I'm doing here uh, is I am setting up the trace to go away from the player. Because if you do it just on, like, if you just do X value or Y value, then it's going to go down the X axis or the Y axis. What I've done here, um, I know how to play sockets, cameras, but it breaks the demo when I try setting up a key to command. Huh, interesting. That's curious. Um, so what I'm doing here, got the first person camera. We're getting its world location which is tied to the player's face, so it'll always be where the player is with a positive z-value. Um, then you get the world rotation. In this case, I'm multiple, or I'm rotating the world, or rotating the vector of x 5000 by the camera's world rotation. So it's going to go out away from the player's x value as opposed to the world's x value. Um, but it's also going to rotate with the camera as opposed to just going at, at a relative x value, which would stay on a flat plane. Um, so in this case, anytime we turn, this value is going to turn with it. And we're going to start it at the first person camera. We're also going to go ahead and do a draw debug type, persistent for now, actors to ignore, we don't want them to ignore anything, and we're going to do this for both of them. Actually, well, I'll just copy the entire thing. Out hit. Break hit result. Okay. At the impact normal, I'm going to spawn actor. No, not actor for gameplay. Spawn actor from class. Normal the hit world space for the object that was hit. I believe this is what we're going to want. We'll find out. So, blue portal. Then I will show you what is wrong with this picture. Once we get it all set up. Oh, okay. And uh, Couch Knights is done, so I'll get to that in just a second. First, I want to make sure that this is visible. and the arrow. And there's a reason I'm doing the arrow. Wait, I can, why am I doing it this way? This is silly. Hold on. Go to portals. Hidden in game. Hidden in game. Okay, so now we should be able to see it. Or not. Well, at least the trace is working. I wonder. Shift F1. Eject. Nope, not spawning on the bottom end either. Okay, so that's just not working quite yet. I don't remember what that pillar was for. Anyways. <laughs> hey, Assassinator. Uh, currently... In this project, we're working on, uh, hopefully, eventually, a portal gun. It probably will never work, but working on that. Um, actually, the past broadcast, if you um, if you look in the summary, I want to say, there should be a link to my YouTube channel, and I post all of the past broadcast on my YouTube channel for people who um, can't catch the stream in time. So you definitely can catch all of them there. Um, but right now, we are actually going to pop over to the Couch Knights demo 
because um, Wolfpack had a question about first person, third person cameras. Eh, save all that. Sure. Whatever. Uh, la 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 la. Couch nights. Yep, and if it's not there, let me know. Um, I'll add it up later, and I will go ahead and link... In fact, why am I doing this? I'm wasting time. <laughs> let me go to YouTube real quick. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just go ahead and link the damn thing. Why am I wasting time? Some, let's see. Unreal Zombie Bear. Here you go, for your viewing pleasure. Pretty much, I think there may be one or two that's actually missing from when I first started doing this, but I got into the habit after a while. Um, I'm still very much new to streaming and entertaining people. Um, hopefully you guys are entertained. <laughs> but I, uh, I got into the habit of uploading after my stream was over. Okay, and this is going to take a minute to actually... Uh, do its thing. Because if we try to mess with it while shaders are compiling, it will get all wonky and upset at me, as it has done in the past, and crash, and then my stream crashes, and everything just gets bad juju. So, this is, a uh, yeah. <laughs> However, we're going to go ahead and pull open, um, let's see, I need the character... No, not the enemy. BP character pawn. Viewport. Do I have a camera? Or is the camera actually in the player character? Okay. Yeah, okay. So it looks like Oculus player controller may actually have the camera. Yeah. Um, awesome. Thank you, Wolfpack. I really appreciate the subscription. Uh, okay, this is all... Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Okay. I, I actually have not gone through here. It's a free cam. Set V target with blend. Um, so does the player character have all of the movement? Because that's what I need, really. I need to make sure that movement is not going to be interfered with. Movement. Sweet. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Yeah, I just, I, I wanted to get a, um, shows camera static on an actor. Do you still have Oculus Player Controller as your player controller? Um, if you do, it may be searching for um, the Oculus Player camera because it's actually. If, let's see, where's all? It's, this is all cam stuff. Like Oculus requires a lot more uh, camera stuff than most things. Um, and this is all server, uh, which please never ask me to get into networking because I don't know. <laughs> networking is the devil. <laughs> um, first person and third person. Okay, so things we're going to need. That's player actions. That's shooting magic. Okay, cool. We can play set material character according to which player, cool. Set character scale, cool. Hit recoil, cool. Death revival, events called by Anna Blueprint. Okay, so nothing in here should interfere with the camera, which is good. That's what we want. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and go bloop, and go bloop, and get a camera. First things first, I want to get the camera, make it a much tinier camera. Not, not because it'll affect the viewport, but because it'll make it easier to see.
Let's put it just in front of the face. That way we're not, you know, watching the back of the head. Urgh, there. Okay. Oh yeah, I I don't have an Oculus Rift either. Uh, oh wait, we already talked about that. I'm sorry, my it's been a very long day. <laughs> it's been a very long day. Um, so what I'm gonna do first and foremost is I'm going to this is this is just for um, uh, this test new PC control. And we're going to come into world settings, keep the VR game, sure. We're going to change the this to not Oculus. We're going to go to new, play, new PC control. And I want to see what happens first and foremost once these shaders finish compiling. <sighs> also, I'm going to make sure in my level blueprint there's nothing forcing the camera. Reset props. Cash off location. Okay, so this is all, all props and stuff. This has nothing to do with the camera, which is good. Yeah, I'm just what I'm doing here is just making sure that there's nothing that's going to interfere with me being able to access this camera. Um, otherwise, it'd get very annoying very quickly. So, first compile, save. Next. Hit play. Okay, why did that jump up there? You know, let's just start a new level. Don't save. Okay. So we're going to go to game mode. And let's set a new game mode. Sure, new blueprint. That sounds like a good game mode name. Open this up. Boom. Player controller is going to be new PC control. Pawn is going to be. Is it VP character player pawn? VP character player pawn, yes. Okay. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. So we're going to set this game mode to new blueprint. What that should do is give us... Yeah. So this is our really crappy um, first-person mode. I know. It's fantastic. I'm actually going to change... Yeah. It looks terrible, but, um, you know, practical purposes, it works. Okay. So there are multiple ways to do this. Um, this camera one I was trying to do was put in a switch camera option in the blueprint, but really it whacks out on the blueprint on pressing pressing play. Okay. So there, like I said, there's multiple ways to do this. Um, this is going to be our primary camera, and what we're going to do is okay on begin play. So this is where, of course actor gets spawned in, this is where everything starts. Cool? Cool. Awesome. We're also going to drag off here, set view target with blend. So this node, what it does is it goes through and goes, okay, what's our camera? So normally, or actually, set view Set view really set active maybe? Oh, here we go. So we're going to set this camera to active. Hey Katatis! Oh you're only a few minutes late, it's no big deal. <laughs> I mean, geez, Katatis, how dare you show up to my stream late? Oh, God. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Happy to have you here, man. 